What's going on guys? So I'm gonna be feeding raptors some roaches that I have right here. I've been breeding these guys for a while, but um, I'm kind of tired of breeding them already. So I'm just gonna feed off the rest of my colony. I've already been feeding it off for a while and I got six left. So I decided uh, might as well make a YouTube video on it since these are gonna be the last ones that I'm gonna be breeding. So I've been slowly feeding them off uh, on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me, make sure you check out Shadows Reptiles on Instagram. And I've just been making like little clips of me feeding Raptor and now I'm gonna be feeding him the rest of them. So let's see if this guy wants to come out here and have some fun with these roaches. What's up, buddy? Come here. Come on. All right, I guess we're gonna have to show him a roach so he could come over here. Here you go, mate. There we go. Let's let this one go and see. Just watch him chase it, huh? Come here, Raptor. Oh, oh, oh. That one went straight under me, so. There we go. Let's get this guy over here. Damn, he's so warm. I'm gonna get him over here and feed him the roach a little bit better because that one went under me and I wasn't able to get a good angle of it. Look at him, he's like a little dinosaur. Raptor's an awesome lizard. I love feeding him. It's one of my favorite ones to feed other than Bonnie and Clyde, to be honest. Look at this guy looking over here. I think that these roaches are a little too big for him. And that's part of the reason why I'm stopping the breeding. Hey, 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 rhino iguanas are not on the menu, buddy. What are you doing? There we go. He sometimes has difficulties with them. I guess it's because of the legs kicking him back, but he eats other animals much easier, like uh, rodents and fish. It's much simpler for him to eat them than the roach. Let's get one more here. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail as well while I'm at it. This guy wanted some food. I'm gonna be feeding him now. I just can't feed him roaches. Roaches are just for raptor. There you go. So yeah, you see, he keeps doing that all the time. Like he just grabs them, lets them go to try and readjust. I guess when he tries to readjust, the roach is just able to kick out, and that's why he has a harder time eating them. While the other animals, the fish don't have legs, so they can't really fight them off. And the rodents, I feed them pre-killed, so obviously he doesn't have any problems with those. Oh, look at that. All the guts just came out of the roach. Unless those are eggs. I don't really know the anatomy of roaches, but I just came out of its butt there. Here you go. Got one more sacrifice here for the big man. And obviously six roaches is not gonna be enough to get them full, so we're gonna have to feed them something else. We're gonna finish that off or just hold it there? There we go. Come on, brother. And the reason why I got rid of the roaches is because I'm just tired of having this tub around. They're honestly the best feeders that you could have because they're a lot cleaner than crickets and super worms. They smell better. They don't bite back the animals and they're big. So they're a lot more nutritional than the other insects. The only problem that I have with it is that Raptor and Rex are my, the only ones that could eat it. I should have given some to Rex, but I completely forgot. I'll just feed him something else. Um, but this guy, he's still too small to be eating roaches. So I'm not gonna be breeding a whole colony just for two animals when I, it's just simpler for me to just go and buy them instead. Check out the Mata Mata. He was just swimming around back there. See if I can get him to cross over here. This guy's just becoming more active than before. He used to be just chilling all the time. 
Now I actually see him around and I see him eat and all that. So he's getting more comfortable. All right, now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna go get some turkey for the other carnivores that weren't able to eat any of the roaches. Like I said, I only had six roaches that I just wanted to get rid of. And now I'm gonna go get some meat to feed raptor and all the other animals that still haven't ate. Check this out. My little red foot tortoise is over here trying to get some heat and some UVB. And then there's an iguana basking on top of him. What's up, dude? You like that rock you're using there? He's gonna pretend like he was never up there, little. Yeah, that's my little marbled red foot tortoise and then my club tail iguanas. I got three club tail iguanas and then the red, the one red foot here. Anyways, we gotta get back to business. I got some ground turkey here and I have a hungry monitor right there. So let's get this little bowl filled up with a little bit of turkey. Wow, that thing is hard. Okay, that's not gonna work out, so there we go. A little bit of ham for the boy here. Everything's much harder with one hand. So, did I say ham? I meant some turkey. Um, but yeah, just a little bit for him right there. And he's gonna love this. Here you go, bud. I just remembered that I fed him some crickets the other day as well. I forgot about that. But uh, anyways, we'll put that there. I'll let him find it. And then we're gonna feed some more to Raptor. And then the rest goes to Rex. But this I do wanna split up. Hold up, hold up, stay there, dude. Give me a second. I'm gonna get him some of this, which is crock chow. All right, here we go. We got this bowl for him. We got a nice wad of meat right here. And I'm gonna get some of these bad boys. And put it in there. Kind of looks like dog food, but it's not. It's crocodile food, and the monitors love to eat it as well. So I'm gonna feed that to Raptor there. I'm gonna probably save the rest and feed it another day. And yeah, so that's pretty entertaining there. Just watching them sitting there, pretty pretty cool. And that piece of mulch there looks like a scar. Pretty cool. And oh my god, bro, are you serious? Come on, dude. What is this? You made a mess. And I just changed the water for Raptor and he already messed it up. This guy always dirties the water within an hour. I cleaned it. I changed the water. I fed him. I went to get this. I came back and it already has some poop in it. So I'm gonna have to change it again in the afternoon. But... I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. I like to put his food on top of his little basking spot here. The only problem is that I gotta take it out faster because of the heat. Um, but when he eats it, at least if it falls out, he'll be able to pick it back up and not get mulch on it. Come on, bro. Come over here. Raptor, here. Raptor's starting to get a lot more chill. I'm actually able to bring him outside now and put him back into his enclosure. Whereas before, as soon as he got outside, he would like to try and run away. And that kind of just changed over time. I didn't really do anything to try and change that. So I guess just as he matured himself, like naturally, he just became more calm. All right, come on, dude. It's already a little bit chunky. There we go. You could enjoy that. Cause I got things to do and I can't just sit here and watch him eat all day but he's pretty entertaining. I like watching him eat. Cooler, obviously, when it's like an insect or a fish or something, but even this, and I also really like watching the animals drink water. I think it's just so cool um, to see them drink water. I don't know why, because I guess it's just like reptiles. It's kind of hard to see them drinking water sometimes. So when you see it, it's pretty cool. This guy got a little bit of mochi on it, so I'm just end up feeding him some of this with the tongs. Make him like a little meatball there. Here you go, dude. And same thing with the water. Look at that. It's already covered in mud. This guy doesn't poop in his water, but he just runs into it. And I don't even know how it happens, to be honest. He just fills it up with dirt.
Check them out. So cool. I want to upgrade this guy's enclosures soon. I don't know. Like I, like I said in my previous videos, I want to build them outdoor enclosures. But I don't really like the substrate anymore. This is peat moss. I used to use it on all my enclosures. Like you can see Aru's enclosure has some. BX has some. But I don't know. I just don't like it as much anymore. I feel like it's a little bit too dusty. Um, it's been great so far. Oops. But this is the problem with it. It's a little bit sticky for the food. And obviously, like any substrate... Um, it's the same thing if it's a wet food you can't you can't feed wet food on substrate because it's just not gonna work out so I gotta use tiles or plates or something but the plates the problem is that they just move it out of the way anyways so it doesn't always work out I take a chunk out of my finger there instead of the meat. Ah, like I said, look at him, and he's pulling on it. I can feel all his little teeth inside of my finger. Watch out, dude. If it's not coming off, why are you still pulling on it, dude? Hey, hey, hey. He's got pretty sharp teeth. It's I feel it. It's like deep inside of my finger. Come on, let go. Ah. There we go. Now you're gonna get scared, are you serious? You bite me and you're the one that's scared, all right. So I guess I'm gonna have to try and find them a better plate for this one. Oh, perfect. Nice. It's the first time that he's bit me and obviously it was an accident, I saw it coming. I just wanted to see what it felt like. Um, not a big deal. Worse than I thought though. But it took him it took him a while before I actually felt it. There we go, two little bites right there. It's not a big deal. Animals bite me all the time. I'm used to it already. Um his bite is not bad at all. He's my he's probably like one of the more gentle animals that I could get bit by other than probably like Tatina Sora Baker eye over here, which bite me all the time on purpose. Look, I'm gonna show you them as well. Look at these guys. I've already got them trained. They're like little Bonnie and Clydes. Come on. Come up here. Look at this. Look at them. I don't know how they, they always bite me. They think that I'm food or something. These guys are so tame now. They're doing great. What's up, little one? I wanted to make a video on them. And I did. I just didn't upload it because it was a little too short. So I'll probably remake it. Oh, he just got the same finger. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys back over here. Lock them back up. And they're getting, they're getting a lot bigger. So look at them, dude. I love these two. They're getting so tamed up. And then this guy here, he's already eating all the turkey. And he's leaving some of the pellets, even though he actually eats the pellets by themselves as well. I guess he just likes the... <laughs> you see, this is... This is what I'm telling you guys about. Like, it doesn't matter if you use a bowl, if you put it on a tile. And don't bite me, because your bite actually hurts a lot. Um, at least he already ate all the wet food, because dry food does not get stuck like the mulch doesn't get stuck my fingers are a little bit wet so it gets stuck to me but um this is not as big a problem because they could they could just take it back out that's why the tortoises i like feeding them the missouri a lot because i don't have to worry about it like if they eat it off the the substrate like the mulch because they don't eat the mulch unless they like actually like grab the mulch by accident which sometimes they do and they usually just let it go right away but um all right Pick all these balls back up and don't knock it over again, sir. These guys, they drop things and they don't care. But yeah, that's why like when I build new enclosures for them, I want to put everything more convenient because obviously I've learned a lot since I built these other enclosures and I've learned a lot about them and how they behave with the enclosures. So I'm obviously able to make them better enclosures. Oh, I gotta clean that. And there is Rex. Yeah, I just woke him up right now. He's already coming up. You can see he's a little bit skinny and ready to eat. I got some meat for you right here, bud. This dude has been doing great. He's been... Where are you going? What is he looking for? Is there a lizard over there or something? I think he just noticed that thing and thought it was... Rex, over here. Come on. Come here. 
Come here. This is what I do to get him to come over. Just wiggle my fingers. Come on. I think he smells it, but he just hasn't seen it yet. Here. There we go. That's the thing. When it's not a live animal, they're a lot less interested because they, the movement gives them like instinct to hunt. So sometimes they're a little bit more slow with things like this. The meat at least has a strong scent, so they're able, they're able to pick it up a lot easier. But what are you doing? You don't like meat anymore? Oh, you just thought that you had food when you didn't have anything in your mouth. Nice. Um, but as I was saying, the Missouri, like the crock chow that I feed them, sometimes they don't want to eat it, I guess, because it's hard and the smell isn't as strong as meat. And obviously it doesn't move, but I noticed with him at least, if I put it in here and I like, or I throw it at him, he'll sometimes go and chase it and eat it. Raptor on the other hand doesn't care, he'll eat it regardless, but um, Raptor's just a really good eater and he'll pretty much eat anything that I feed him. This guy's a little bit more picky with some things, but not a lot, just the Missouri has been the thing that I've been having the trouble with. And I think eggs, no, I think he ate, eats eggs fine. He just, he just actually like physically has difficulty eating it sometimes. Um, but this guy, he was a rescue. For those of you that know, don't know, see he has a couple missing toes. When I got him, he wasn't too bad. He was a little bit uh, feisty the first day, but he tamed up pretty quick uh, just because he was already tamed from the previous house. And um, the problem with him, like he didn't have a big problem. It was just his diet was the problem. Uh, the people were feeding him way too much meat. And Savannah monitors are mostly insectivores, so you don't want to feed too much meat. His poop was coming out like diarrhea, but so far he's already uh, he's already pooping fine and he's doing great out here uh, florida is a great spot for him because it has all the natural humidity the warmth that they need so it's great to have him outdoors here obviously when it gets cold i bring him into into the garage with the uh, raptor and all the other animals but anyways i'm gonna let this guy finish off i don't want to baby him too much he can eat on his own the hermits are over there playing in the water They're getting it dirty like all the animals like to do the adabras were drinking a lot of water earlier and they were sleeping there I love the Adabras so much. I got some videos of them drinking and I just find these guys so fascinating. I don't know why, like compared to the other tortoises, they just stand taller. I don't know if it's just because of the perception of seeing them, you know, they get so big and they're just, they just feel, they just give a different vibe. And I'm not the only one that picked that up. But my friend, he's obviously, he likes the Adabras too. And he comes over here and it's just, you feel it. Like when you have them and you see them, they, they just look like, like fascinating, you know? I don't know what it is, but a lot of people really like them. And it looks like he's having a better time eating it from this plate because he doesn't pull it out as much. He just went to the edge now because I came in here and he got a little bit bothered by that. But he's been eating it fine. He doesn't get dirt on it anymore. So. And now Rex, like I said, you see how he's able to pick it up without getting it dirty. He put his bowl back into his hide, but the dry food doesn't matter as much because he could just easily take it out of the mulch without getting mulch. Hey, that's mine, not yours. Oops, drop this. So yeah, Raptor's on his way to being a really uh, tame monitor, so hopefully I'll be able to have him walking around in the future. Um, he already is able to walk around inside, but I mean like outdoors. And I feel like I just want him to be a little bit bigger and a little bit slower for him to do that because when they're bigger, they're obviously more comfortable being around like in different environments because they they feel more powerful, which they definitely are. They get up to six feet. But um, right now he's just too fast and too small, so he could get out through any little hole and I don't completely trust him outside yet. I have taken him outside before. Uh, he's gotten in the pool with me before, um, but it's just too risky at the moment. I feel like he'll he'll be able to just go crazy and just escape if he wants to. So he already tried doing it once. So I'm just keeping him in, the, in here until he's a little bit bigger and a little bit more calm. And as for the calm part, as you guys saw, he's already getting more calm. Like he used to not let me pick him back up to put him back in the enclosure. I mean, he let me do it, but he always tried to get away. Now he doesn't do that anymore. He's more comfortable with me grabbing him and uh, just me interacting with him in general, even outside of his enclosure. And as for the little bite, it already healed up. As you can see, I don't even feel it anymore, but um, it felt like a paper cut, like it did burn a little bit after. And then it just went away. It just went away a lot faster than a paper cut would. I feel it still, but it doesn't hurt. Um, it just feels kind of like a little bit, oh look, there it is. And that's how you know he ripped it up because he put his teeth and when he pulled it, it's when, it, when it actually cut it, which made it worse. But yeah, it's not bad at all. It just feels like, like a little bite pretty much. It doesn't hurt. 
ripped through the skin when he actually had his tooth in there it was weird it was a weird feeling because i actually felt my his tooth inside of my skin and it was that was not really pleasant it felt kind of weird like i felt it in there um but when he let go it was all right it just stung a little bit for like a few seconds i washed it off and that's it but that's pretty much it for today's video i gotta get a new light for the black tree monitor because it keeps breaking for some reason i don't know if it's the actual lamp or if it's the bulb but I, i've already put in two bulbs and they immediately just start like frying and they stop working. So I gotta figure that out. In the last video, um, I was feeding all the animals some fish and I fed him fish and he took it and it was great. So you guys should go check that out if you want to. But other than that, the video is over already. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. Have a great day.